hello 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 guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the gray bell so that you know when i am uploading and coming with a great wonderful recipe so the first things first let me just tell you guys i'm having a hard time breathing i'm sounding quite like quite nasally i'm dealing with allergies so please bear with me so what we're gonna make today is a lemon velvet cake and when i say lemon velvet or you hear lemon velvet, the first thing that comes to mind is a red velvet. This is so different, but equally delicious, if not better. I'm gonna put the recipe on the side of the screen, so let's get started. Okay, so typically I would put the baking powder, the baking soda, and the salt and sift it with the flour, but I didn't do that this time because it's a forgiving enough cake that I didn't have to because I wanted you guys to see the ingredients. Also, I mixed the vanilla with the lemon extract because it's all going into one cake. Do not overbeat this flour because it is half all-purpose flour and cake flour still has gluten. So you don't want to overbeat this because the cake will be tough. Okay, so I just wanted to chime in real quick and just say if you feel like you've overbeaten your cake, stop where you're at and go get a spatula. Finish folding it the rest of the way. Also, I forgot to put my shortening in with the wet ingredients, but it's not the end of the world. It's not a crucial thing that's going on. Just go back, mix it in or beat it in, however you have to do it. But it will be better to mix it in at room temperature with the rest of your wet ingredients. But whatever you do, do not melt.
All right, guys, here you have it. The finished product, lemon velvet cake. Now, it's nothing like a red velvet cake because they're two different cakes, but it is equally as delicious. It still does not hail in comparison to the key lime pound cake. However, it's pretty good. So, the icing, I didn't do a video on it, but I will put something in the description box below so that you guys can figure out how to do it. I mean, it's easy. It's just cream cheese frosting. So, um, of course, my husband's the try guy. I didn't want to cut too big of a piece because I was sending it to work with him for his co-workers and his boss. However, I guess it really didn't matter because in the middle of the night, I got up and I snuck a piece out and I put it in a Tupperware and hid it in the microwave and I didn't feel bad about it, not one bit. But I explained myself, I wrote on top of the cake box. So um, this is delicious, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next, or well, you guys see me in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.